With a successful first year under his belt and the wind in his sails, President Trump is set to outline the record-setting accomplishments of his inaugural year and priorities for his second year in office when he does his first State of the Union address to Congress Tuesday night. Whether it's a record stock market, 17-year low in unemployment, 17-year low in illegal border crossings or growing American optimism, the president has many successes to tout. However, he does not intend to stop at year one. According to senior White House officials familiar with the president's prepared speech, President Trump will cast an inspiring vision for building a safe, strong and proud America for years to come. Aimed to unite Americans with a sense of patriotism and the American work ethic, President Trump will have no shortage of successes to boast about and in true Trumpian fashion, no lack of vision for where he'd like to lead America next. Advanced excerpts of the president's speech show that he plans to say, we want every American to know the dignity of a hard day's work, we want every child to be safe in their homes at night, and we want every citizen to be proud of this land that we love. Those themes ring true to his campaign trail message in 2016 that won the support of working Americans in the Rust Belt, the hearts of suburban women voters in the Heartland, and Stoked an America First, sentiment that continues to this day. Senior staff suggest that President Trump's first State of the Union address will be hopeful, visionary, patriotic, strong and unifying, but they also say that America will see a softer side of the president. He intends to speak to the American people directly from the heart. At a recent news conference addressing the country's opioid crisis, the president shared a heartfelt message regarding his late brother Fred's struggle with addiction. It was a message that resonated with many, including his own mostly female communications staff. They look forward to showcasing the more personal, empathetic side of President Trump that resonates with Americans, especially female voters. On policy issues, expect to see President Trump take a victory lap on the American Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. He plans to tout the windfall in employee bonuses, estimated by USA Today to be worth at least $1.7 billion for more than 1.3 million U.S. workers. The president is also expected to call attention to pledges by businesses to return manufacturing to America and new hiring that has followed his tax reform plan's passage. The president will also speak about how the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is already increasing the value of college savings accounts, 401k plans and retirement accounts. In addition, he will discuss how the tax cuts are giving hope of a brighter future to many Americans after eight years of economic doom and gloom under President Obama. Looking forward, President Trump will also push for $1 trillion in infrastructure investment. He intends to spotlight the need for rebuilding our depleted infrastructure to help America compete globally and create jobs, improve productivity, and keep Americans safe on roads and railways. According to staff familiar with the speech, President Trump will also put forth his legislative plan to eliminate bureaucratic permitting delays, focus on rural needs and give federal taxpayers a better return on investment, a novel concept all too often forgotten in Washington. The president will also address illegal immigration and DACA head-on. He will share his intention to help the so-called dreamers, pigrants brought to the U.S. illegally as children through no fault of their own. But in exchange, he will require reforms to immigration and border security that will protect the jobs, safety and wages of American workers. The president will also continue his push for a wall along the poorest southern border of the U.S. President Trump will stick with his pledge to end the dangerous chain migration and visa lottery policies that have allowed terrorists into our country. These include the New York City attacker who is charged with running down innocent bystanders on Halloween, and the attempted suicide bomber who set off a pipe bomb tied to his body in a passageway between two New York City subway stations in December. Fresh from his trip to Davos in Switzerland, President Trump will also talk about trade, putting the world on notice that from now on, the U.S. will insist upon fair and reciprocal trade. Finally, President Trump will invoke President Ronald Reagan, citing peace through strength and calling for a return to clarity about who exactly our friends and enemies are. Aiming to unite Americans with a sense of patriotism and the American work ethic, President Trump will have no shortage of successes to boast about and in true Trumpian fashion, no lack of vision for where he'd like to lead America next. Critics suggest that President Trump needs a home run at his State of the Union address to stem the tide of anticipated losses in the November midterms elections. However, if his rising poll
numbers and his first year of accomplishments are any indication, I suspect that as he rounds the bases on Tuesday night he'll score just fine with the American people watching at home.